Hello, Internet. I'm Jackie Fox. Let's keep it weird with some weird news that we all might have missed. Starting with the FTX lobbyist that tried to buy the Pacific Island of Nauru to create a new super species, according to a lawsuit. According to a lawsuit, Gabe Bankman Freed, oh great, another another member of the Bankman Freed family. Fucking terrific. Was looking at buying the island nation of of Nauru in the event where 50 to 99.9 percent of people die to protect his philanthropic allies and create a genetically engineered enhanced human species what a just really looking out for for the people of that island i guess when he fucking bought it out from under them Cocaine dumped in the sea off Florida could have crazy consequences if sharks eat it, scientists find. So as it turns out, sharks can do cocaine. Sharks may be consuming cocaine dumped in the waters off of Florida, and it could be making them act in crazy ways, scientists have said. Researchers investigating whether or not drugs dumped overboard impact the region's marine life for a documentary found that sharks appear to be acting strangely, and others also responded to similar stimulants. So, wow. We have cocaine sharks. In a year that has brought us the movie Cocaine Bear, now Florida brings us cocaine sharks. I, you know, I didn't used to be <laughs> at all scared or worried about shark attacks. And I guess since I don't live in Florida, I don't have to be. But, you know, you got your sharks, local mayors, everybody is finding this cocaine. There's just so much cocaine in the water, like in Florida that I'm surprised you're not all hopped up on it. Wait. Wait. Did I just figure out why Florida is Florida? No. No, I did. It's been going on far too long for that to be the explanation. Man who stole 200,000 Cadbury cream eggs jailed for 18 months. Joby Pool, 32, used a metal grinder to break into an industrial unit in Telford. He then drove off in a stolen lorry cab with a trailer full of chocolate products. Stolen eggs were then driven onto the northbound M42, where Pool surrendered. That's an that's a epic heist for cream eggs. Four men arrested after Hearst driven onto football pitch led to game being abandoned. The men wore baklavas and disrupted play by driving the Hearst and another car in circles while skidding and throwing leaflets from the vehicles. Okay, now what were the leaflets for? Canadian couple launching hunger strike to protest pickleball noise from park outside their home. The couple says the strike will continue until the courts at Kinsman Park are decommissioned. Y'all really gonna kill yourselves over pickleball? Like, fucking Gandhi's rolling in his grave right now. Like, what did I start? These fucking white people are intense. Chinese adults working as full-time children for their parents in tight labor market. The trend reflects China's work culture, where working long hours or long working hours and burnout have led some people to prioritize taking care of their parents over pursuing a career. It's kind of weird how this country has come full circle in like the last 70 or 80 years to where, you know, there was stronger uh, familial loyalty and there were bigger families and then those got nuked by the one child uh, legislation their children were built into little emperors as many people have reported it and now um, <laughs> and now we've come full circle to where their parents are actually paying them to do uh, many of the things that uh, children and families would have done previously. But it's also, like, here's the wild thing to me. Like, this says something about, like, the upper class in China, though, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> you, 
Can you imagine, like, any other country was like, well, why don't their parents just pay them to do that? Like, whose parents got that kind of money, right? Like, I don't know about you Americans, but, like, how many of you could pay your kids to take care of you? No, right? That's not a reality anywhere outside of China, I don't think. I'm not even sure that it's a reality as many places in China as articles like this would make it out to be. But this is a this is a strange trend, um, I've got to say. But I don't know. Like maybe this is a, a job that that more of the world needs. Maybe as as uh, kind of disruptive and disgusting as it sounds, maybe this is what we need to get back to the roots of taking care of each other. I don't know. Like everything has to be encouraged through capitalism, through a wage. We have to commodify everything, so why not commodify being a good child and get paid for it? I don't know. What what the hell is the world anymore? Um, Quebec company, Quebec trucking company ordered to reinstate driver, fired for drinking and driving. How? What? What? A Quebec trading trucking company has been ordered to reinstate a driver who was fired after she drank at least nine beers before she lost control of her truck on a Pennsylvania highway. Was the judge just like, yeah, fuck those Americans. You'll do it again. I don't understand. The labor arbitrator determines the driver's drinking was a result of her alcoholism which is considered a disability, and the company should have made reasonable accommodations for her. The driver informed her employee about her alcoholism after the crash and sought medical help to quit drinking. She suggested the company could have installed an alcohol testing device in her truck or found alternative work for her. I mean, maybe you as an alcoholic won't, shouldn't become a truck driver. Look, fuck you. Fuck you. Come on. Are you serious? That's dumb as fuck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that an alternate job because you showed up to work drunk. Ugh, just I can't even. I can't. I cannot even. Chief Uno player wanted as toy company Mattel offers five figure sum for one month's work. Wow. Mattel is looking for its first ever Chief Uno player to spearhead its newest edition Uno Quattro. The game will reportedly require four hours of attendance per day. Oh, the job will reportedly require four hours of attendance per day. Four days a week for four consecutive weeks. The Quattro game offers differs from the familiar deck of cards to colorful tiles where the objective is to get four in a row. Okay. Sure. Don't care. Mexican City Chihuahua bans misogynistic lyrics that promote violence against women. Is there a very specific song for this or just anything? Nice. Chihuahua City Council has pounced a measure which allows it to impose fines of up to 1.2 million pesos, which is only 72,000 US or 56,000 euros, for the playing of lyrics that discriminate against women. City Councilor said that it aimed at protecting the dignity of women and family. Women, ten women and girls are killed every day in Mexico, the United Nations says. BC real estate agent fined $20,000 after being caught swigging milk at home show. <laughs> Some expensive milk, wasn't it, buddy? A British Columbia real estate agent has been fined $20,000 after drinking milk straight out of the jug at a home he was showing. I, I don't even want to know, honestly. Eight charged in 7.6 million recycling fraud scheme accused of smuggling garbage in from Arizona. 
The California Department of Justice alleges that between October 2022 and June of this year, the defendants engaged in a series of recycling transfers. They redeemed the out-of-state recyclables in California, netting a $7.6 million in ill-gotten gains, prosecutors said. Officials said the investigation resulted in the seizure of $1.06 million in illegally imported containers. Sure, I guess that's fraud. Whatever. I, you took your... <laughs> fine. See, it seems like something that so many people would do. Like, California's paying for something? Let's take it there. I don't, I don't even give a fuck how that constitutes fraud. That's... That's not a real crime. I mean, aren't there, like, real things you could be arresting people for? These people are just making the recycling happen. Taylor Swift's performance of Shake It Off equals 2.3 magnitude earthquake. A Taylor Swift concert in Seattle measured the same as a 2.3 magnified earthquake seismologists have said. Seismic data from Swift's sellout dates at the Lumen Field Stadium on 20. 20- 2nd, 23rd of July, in front of a total of over 144,000 fans, was analyzed by experts who found the shows beat the previous Lumen record, known as the city's Beast Quake. (laughs) Snake falls from sky onto Texas woman, and then she was attacked by a hawk, who was uh, eating the snake for lunch, apparently, and had accidentally dropped it on her. It started to bite her and, like, attach itself to her and try to struggle for life while it's trying to get its lunch back and think she's stealing. And she's getting attacked by both animals in the middle of this scenario. Oh, what a world we live in. The animals absolutely hate us for what we've done to this planet. Man started family and spent COVID lockdown on remote island during six-year charity walk along UK coastline. During his walk, the former paratrooper met his partner Kate, adopted a dog named Jet, and had a son, Magnus. The couple, along with their baby, finished the walk at Langneth Beach in Swansea, where it all began. So, like, this man's been walking for six years. He, he, he found a woman that was willing to walk with him. While pregnant for nine months. And then they carried the baby along with them. I mean, I'm glad you got the story because I think that that you this family might have some issues running forward. But like, at the same time, goals also. <laughs> Finland man puts 12 kilograms of dynamite in friends' cars. Friends' cars as a joke. A Finnish man is facing up to two years in prison after reportedly loading a friend's vehicles with dynamite before claiming he had done it as a joke. The man stored the dynamite in two vehicles before calling the owner and telling him, according to Finnish broadcasters. Not horsing around. Amazon is using mules to deliver packages to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Amazon is using a new delivery ser- message. What? What? Amazon is using a new delivery message to serve customers who live and work at the Phantom Ranch, which is located deep in the Grand Canyon. Amazon packages said, Amazon said packages will be delivered with the help of meals four days per week, and the deliveries will take place before sunrise to avoid the heat. So you've got to ride a mule loaded with Amazon packages down the Grand Canyon in the middle of the night. Great. This is great. I mean, I'm sure that's probably better than doing it in the day, given that we live on Hill World and we've turned the temperature up every year for the last 30 years, if not more. Anti-vampire device found in child's grave from 17th century Polish, Poland officials say. The child was also buried in a particular way. D- did they think he was a vampire? <laughs> The deceased in the new burial was found with a padlocked lower leg, symbolizing closure of life and protection from the deceased. I, uh, I'm 
It feels like you're stuck in there with them at that point. Folklore surrounding vampires was prominent in European cultures during the 17th and 18th centuries, with vampires described as evil beings, suicide victims, or corpses possessed by malevolent spirits. Vampire sightings were common during this time, leading to exhumations and stakings to kill potential revenants. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty, pretty wild. Loch Ness Center wants a new generation of monster hunters for the biggest search in 50 years. What has been described as the biggest search for the Loch Ness Monster since the early 1970s is due to be held later this month. Drones fitted with infrared cameras are to be flown over the lock and a hydrophone is used to be, is to be used to detect unusual underwater sounds. Cool. I mean, I think at this at this point in human history, like we know the answer. There, there just can't be a Loch Ness monster, or we would have found it by now. But apparently, these people think otherwise. And uh, I mean, this feels like a Scooby Doo esque plot to uh, to drive tourism. But um, you know what? You do what you do to survive, including hunting for made up monsters in your lock. So, have fun with the legends, and if you had fun with this episode, remember there is a link in the description that will give you access to the entirety of the Jackie Fox media empire. More, much more than just me reading you the news, but really anything you could come to want. Check out all the links in that Linktree profile. You'll find podcasts, videos, books, and even ways to support the channel in addition to a Discord where we can all hang out together. So, whatever you do, like and subscribe, show up for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.